Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here with my oldest son Uriah and we are going to do a fix it video. His XJ's got a few problems that we're going to address. Uh, the TPMS sensor, or I'm sorry, the TPS sensor, the throttle, the throttle position sensor is uh, acting up along with the uh, idle control valve sensor. So we're going to replace those as well as he broke one of his uh, sway bar links. So we got some different ones we're going to try out. Maybe they're better. And for the most part today, I'm going to be behind the camera, kind of guiding him through what he needs to do, let him learn a little more about working on cars. So we're going to collect some tools and whatnot and jump right in. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, so let me get you in here and show you kind of what we got to do first. So, right here, this is your throttle position sensor, and this is the idle control valve sensor. These are the two that we're going to be replacing today. So, we're going to remove the brake booster hose. The PCV valve hose here, as well as here, and we're also going to remove the uh, air, cold air intake uh, tube that goes into your throttle body, just so we have room to work. So I'm going to step out of the way and let Uriah get to work and make sure he gets it done right. All right, so here we go. Well, that looks like a trip to O'Reilly's. Oh, God. All right, guys, this is what happens when your stuff is old as dirt and it doesn't want to come apart. So it looks like I'll be making a trip to the parts store here in a little bit to get a replacement hose. So uh, we're going to hang out or stop for a minute here. I'm going to go ahead and get that off and we'll come right back to you. All right, guys, so we got it off. It wasn't awesome by any means, but we're going to continue moving on. That should be loose. All right, guys, so we're having some more technical difficulties, so we're going to fix it another way. So let me go get a different tool. We're going to just go ahead and cut this clamp off, and I'm pretty sure I have some more that's going to fit it, but...
Perfect. So let's start with this one, the TPS sensor. Okay. Just pull these two off. Now that's spring loaded. All okay. right. There, it shouldn't like shoot out of your hand or anything, but it, it is spring loaded. All right, guys. So let me show you what we got. So we got it off. It was right here. You can see the little valve. Um, next, we're gonna be taking the idle control off. Now this one's gonna be a little bit of a booger. Uh, it's got two bolts as well, both T20. One's just on the underside and Unfortunately, there's not a gob of room to work. So my suggestion is to start from the bottom, finish on the easier one. So I'm gonna get out of the way, let him get in here and get it out. All right, son. gonna come up with to get this screw out of there all right good deal yeah look at this guys that is a tiny screw right there and I'm sure it's gonna be a booger to put back in all right Let's take a look at that. Dirty. Yeah. So let's get you in here and take a look. So you can see how dirty and nasty that one is. That's probably a good portion of his problem. And it looks like it's, oh no, that was just, I mean, that just come off of it. And that right there is what it should look like. So yeah. All right, let's get some stuff cleaned up and then we'll come back to you and start going back together with this portion. All right, guys. So, uh, try and get you over here where you can see. So we got it off, got it all off. Sprayed a little bit of brake cleaner in there and let it uh, evaporate out and wipe down the surfaces. So. We got a good clean mating surface and whatnot to start with. So I'm gonna hop out of the way and he's gonna basically start reversing the process. So here we go. Put it on there make sure yep just like that or flip it over like, like that yeah. and you'll have to rotate it a little bit to get it on there Okay guys, we're back from the parts store. Uh, we got the new uh, throttle position sensor in. 
for whatever reason, they didn't put enough glue on it uh, when they built the part. And when Uriah was putting on the back, it just popped off. So the uh, O'Reilly's only had the same exact manufacturer. So what I did is I took crazy glue and glued around the whole thing because, well, uh, it's not coming back apart. Or not breaking apart, rather. Uh, so right now we got that all done. So all we have to do is button up, putting everything else back on. Just do that, you know, reverse order of what you did, taking it apart. And we're going to do that off camera, get the Jeep jacked up, get the, and start getting the wheels and tires off and start uh, getting ready to do the sway bar links and just kind of check and make sure everything else is good to go. So I'm going to set you down for a minute. We're going to get that done and we'll come right back. All right. All right. So guys, as you can see, got it all back uh, together. Everything where it goes. We've got her on. Oh, ran into a wall. Uh, jack stands. And Uriah is going to start taking off the uh, tires. All right. Go ahead, bud. Here is the Rough Country uh, sway bar links he had. And they're great. We've used them and abused them on other vehicles. With the way the uh, XJ sway bar is, it mounts differently. If you didn't have to use this piece here, these things are great. Highly recommend them. You know, they're just... You know, for sway bar link, quick disconnect. However, with the way they're designed, the bolt that goes through it, as you can see, if it'll focus there, right here, the bolt sheared. And I'm tired of it. So, what I did is I went on Evil Bay, and I found these. I can put a piece of grade 8 hardware through there, through the track bar and it's gonna hold and do a way better job. Otherwise, it's all the same. We're gonna uh, take out the old pieces and put in the new and we're gonna bring you along for the ride. All right, make sure you, we're gonna take off this lower piece goes on the same way the other one come off these don't come off this goes through there let's go on and then this right yep nylock nut last Now all we got to do That's is get the parts to put the upper portion together. All right, so here's the parts laid out. And then he's got the top mount. Go ahead.
Okay, guys, so we got it figured out. Uh, the little washer that goes on the back side of these, it needed a little fine tuning in order for the pin to fit through, no big deal. We're going to put a little cheap insurance on it, put a little blue lock kite on this upper bolt, make sure they don't vibrate out or anything. And then that would be that as far as this side's concerned. And then we'll finish up the other side and we'll come back to you. All right, see you in a bit. All right, guys, so, well, we got the uh, throttle position sensor, the air control valve sensor, both changed. We hooked up the new sway bar links. Um, in the process, we found out that we have an issue that we're gonna have to address at a later date. Uh, one of the brackets is bent, it just needs beat back straight but we didn't figure that out until we got tires on it's getting late we're getting tired almost dinner time so we'll deal with it tomorrow or the next day um however we did find out water pumps leaking now yeah it's a jeep you know just empty every pocket and you still won't have it fixed however it'll work for now Luckily, he's got, yeah, he's got some time off because at the recording of this, it's uh, Thanksgiving weekend for them. So, or actually, they got the whole week off. So, we'll get her done. We always do. It just takes a little bit of time. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next Friday. Bye, guys.